Welcome back to Salty Country. This evening I'm gonna get out here and dig up a couple of little scrub trees that I've kind of mowed around. I cut them off and they put back out. So I'm gonna get out here with the excavator, get up these scrub trees so that in the spring when the grass starts growing again, it'll fill in the spot where I dig these trees up get them kind of cleared out of the yard. But uh, stick around. Let's see what we got going on this evening on the farm. All right. Got a couple of scraggler trees here. Only see if I can get them out of the yard. these things all this year. And I kept saying I was going to uh, dig them up. So, had a few minutes this evening. Dig up a couple things. vine in there too. So the goal here is to get this cleaned up so in the spring when the uh, growing season starts back the grass will fill in this area and we can mow it. I'm not mowing around weeds or this or that. So. Try not to do too much damage to the yard. At the same time, just so I can pluck some of this uh, trees and vegetation out of this. Then I'll see if I can get it packed back in. like another kudzu right there. Some of those 
weeds pushed out of here. Let's pull some of this dirt back in here. Let's see, let's get that briar out of there.
I'm out here by the edge of the driveway where we filmed a few episodes back. Let's run over this, see if we can get it smoothed up. I'll bring the T300 out here later on. right here a little bit as we run over this push some of that dirt down that was in that put this in the berm I got right here slow the water down rains. Now I'll put it in the burn pile let, later on. I'm going to take a walk around the uh, yard this evening. Kind of look around. A lot of trees uh, shedding leaves. A lot of leaves are falling. I noticed a limb down here by the shed leaning up against the tree. So it looks like we've uh, lost a limb in one of these rainstorms that we had a few days ago. 
Yeah, it looks like it broke off right there. It's probably dead. All right, I'm gonna trim some of these lower limbs right here anyway. I got one that's kind of running over there by the shed and get it cut off. Probably cut off these other two limbs on this side that are kind of low. That way I got plenty of room to get under them and don't have to worry about running under them with a piece of equipment. Man, there's a bunch of leaves on the ground. No, this don't have a lot of work when she gets back out here. Here soon, we'll get down here, get those Suburban pulled out of the way, and then we're going to uh, tackle this sweet gum right here by the shed. I'm gonna cut it down so that it falls kind of down toward the uh, where the Suburban's sitting and get that last little bit over there at the corner of the shed cleaned up and we'll get these leaves blowed out of here and I'll probably put some annual rye grass down so that starts getting something established back on it. It's amazing down here though. Um, I haven't planted any grass seed on the yard in years and it's filled in very thick. One thing I do down here a few times a year is I let the grass grow and seed itself. It's not like I've got a HOA or somebody that's gonna say, hey, your yard looks like crap. So I, uh, I let it grow to all of its seeds and then I'll mow it, blow the seeds back on the yard. And it seems to uh, work pretty well the yard has filled in well over the last 10 years since I first sowed this end. We, we first sowed it with Bermuda and then my dad has a grass that's kind of like a centipede grass that um, he uh, put some seeds in my yard. And he told me, he says, hey, I dropped some seeds in your yard We'll see if they take hold. Well, the next spring, after he dropped them that summer, I had about a five foot circle that came in the yard that year of uh, this centipede type grass. And so that was been probably 2012 kind of time frame. This is that grass right in here. And I'll show you. It's got like uh, really small heads on it with seeds. Um, feels like walking on carpet. But that one spot is now probably, I would say, in the spot that he first dropped it, I would say that spot is probably now 40 or 50 foot circle, and it's taken over the rest of the yard, which I don't mind. But down here, just from me mowing that, and whatever grass seed that got in the mower deck or whatever, me just constantly mowing this, it spread down to this end of the yard. So from the cedar tree here, all the way down to where I'm standing, is all thick with that grass. And then also down there toward the edge of the yard, all of that area is the same type of grass. So I would probably guesstimate here in the next five or six years that the yard is gonna be predominantly that grass. But as long as it's green, 
I'm not one of these people that get out here and stress over a weed in my yard. Uh, chickens, birds, bugs, whatever. They'll eat some of that stuff, but I don't let that stuff bother me. Uh, just keep the grass so that it uh, keeps the dust down. Also, here's the, uh, it's the burn pile. I've got some stuff to clean out of the burn pile. I'm gonna cut some of it up on the right side and restack it with the excavator. But I'll be burning that here in the next probably month or so. Once we get a good rain one evening on a Friday, and I'm gonna be off for the weekend. I'll uh, come down here on either Friday evening or Saturday morning and apply for a burn permit, set it fire. And uh, then by the week, time the weekend's over, it should be mostly burnt out. Uh, one good thing down here in Georgia is you can just jump on your phone or your computer, go to the website, apply for your burn permit, right there on the spot when you're gonna do it. Let them know where you're at, what you're doing, and uh, it covers you in case you have any issues. So anyway, we're gonna continue walking around. We'll see what else has uh, changed since the storm come through or if everything's all right. Here's the old greenhouse I've got to tear down. Got the excavator now, so. I'll have to uh, get down here one day and get that thing toward, tore down and get it cleaned up. All right, so the power company comes through every year or so, and they clean out from under the right of way for the power. Well, this is my dad's old home place, and we don't have power down here anymore. Don't even have a transformer. So they decided they were gonna come in here this year. And if you can see the bush right there with the red leaves at the top, that's blueberry bush. This whole area right here was full of blueberry bushes that were probably eight to 10 foot tall. Had been there for probably 20 plus years, 25 years. So the power company decided, or their sub that came out here to clean out from under it, decided they were gonna cut them down so they didn't get in the power line and they hadn't grown into the power line in the last 20 years. So anyway, I, I chalked that one off to probably young guys didn't know any better but hopefully they'll come back up they'll put back out and uh, we'll have some more blueberries I'm gonna trim that bush back over there anyway there's probably four or five blueberry bushes still left right there I'm gonna trim them back so it'll be a little bit easier to uh, get to the blueberries This vine down here, it's pretty much just about taking over several of these trees. And it's probably gonna end up killing them, but keeping an eye on it. Maybe they'll, maybe they'll be all right. All right, let's continue walking around. Okay, I'm over my old home place, backyard. There was a tree that blew over in a storm. What died, it was a fir tree, like a Christmas tree type fir. Beautiful tree. It, uh, it blew over, it died, and it was still standing. It blew over in one of the storms we had here probably a year or so ago. So, this year, it was full of uh, muscadines. 
So I was gonna come down here and clean it up and saw that it was full of musky dines. So I said, well, I'll just wait until fall. I'll pull musky dine vines out of it. Over, right over in there behind it is for the musky dine vine was it the rock levee so i'm gonna get some of that pulled back so that next year hopefully we'll have more musky dines but i'll get down here with the saw probably on one of the episodes we'll cut this thing so that i can uh take the excavator and get it out of the yard and get the yard cleaned back up this is uh, the grass down at, I was talking about. My dad took grass from here where it started down at his place and got it started up at my place. But I'm going to uh, cut this thing up, just push it down there in the woods where I pushed another oak that fell a while back. Let it turn back into dirt. Let it rot. Magnolia tree. So right here, the property drops off pretty drastically down toward the bottoms. Got to clean up some of these limbs when I clean up that tree. Got a few more. I think that's the top out of that oak I pushed down in the woods over there. I'll get all this cleaned up. But yeah, the property drops probably 200 to 300 feet to the bottom from up here. It's a pretty good elevation change. And there's some monster rocks around this property. There's a big one up there. There's rocks sticking out all around the edge, bottom of those trees. But, should be able to uh, come down here in the next several weeks as the leaves continue falling. Maybe catch a glimpse of a deer one afternoon. Here's another magnolia. On this side is a hickory tree. Hickory has turned good and yellow this fall. Some of the oaks leaves have turned red on those. A lot of small magnolias here and there coming up that I need to transplant somewhere else but let's continue walking around Sophie thinks she has to be with me which is fine she enjoys getting out and walking around she's probably 12 13 years old now she's uh slowed down a little bit, but she's still real active. We uh, had to take her, I think it was a year or two ago, and have some cysts removed that I thought was cancerous. But other than that, she's been a pretty healthy dog. Sophie, come here. Let me fix your ear. Come here. Come here. Oh, your ear's folded back. There you go. <laughs> That's going to be all for this episode. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.